Hello everyone. Let's look some new glossary words. Force. It carries two meaning. Let me explain with an example. Firstly, a child making excuses for not going school, where his father is forcing the child to go to school and study hard. Secondly, a man pushing table from one place to another. This is called force. Pressure, physical force on an object. Movement. A street seller placing his shop at different places. This change of place is movement. Push when you force to move a thing away from you. Pull when you use force to move a thing closer to you. Rope an object mostly used while skipping, throwing some object. Tied in an object to pull it towards you. Friction. This word can be explained as rubbing of one object or surface against another. For example, sliding a table on surface or a ball rolling on the surface. Our today's topic of learning is Force and Pressure which is signed like this. We see many objects around us like table, books, cupboard, etc. Do you ever wondered how does these objects have movement? We humans can have movements with ease, like walking, picking objects and other. But how will the objects have movement? For instance, a ball placed below the table. Can the ball move automatically from one place to another? Definitely not. Similarly, a table can't move by itself. A person have to apply force in picking it up to move. In the same manner, to move a ball, a person have to pick it and take it to another place. If a pen fallen on ground, can I give an order to pen to come at its place again? Obviously not. I have to pick it up by myself by applying force to it. Everyone loves eating mango, which we get from a tall mango tree. Does mango falls by itself eventually when you want to eat? To pluck it, we need to throw a piece of rock forcefully towards the mango. The doors in our home are opened and closed gradually when one needs to move out or in. We need to pull or push the door. Here also we use force. If a car is break down, we apply force from the back side of the car to move it ahead. Here is an example from the cricket game where the players are at their positions and will tell you the activities where force is applied. When the baller is bowling, at that moment, the ball is thrown forcefully towards the batsman. Can the ball itself move in direction to make more runs? It's not possible. Thus, for getting more runs, the batsman has to hit the ball, forcefully coming from the baller. Further, to catch the ball, the player has to apply force in order to stop the ball. You might also know that the baller twists its hand to direct the ball's direction. These all activities are possible with the force. 